Hello, this is Food Review UK, my name's Stuart and this is Top of the Hops where I drink beer and tell you what I think about it. Today I'm going to be drinking Marston's Pedigree, a very very well known beer. Uh, I've chosen to drink this because Marston's Pedigree is the official beer sponsor. I don't know whether Mar is it Marston's or is it Marston's Pedigree that's the sponsor? I don't know, but one of them or other is the official beer, official sponsor of the England cricket team and the Ashes, as I record this, the Ashes are currently in progress uh, second test started today so I'm going to uh, try this and let you know what I think of it hashtag honesty, I've had this beer before um, not for quite a while, oh, threatening to bubble over, trying to avoid the preview flavour uh, I haven't had it for quite a while, it's a pale ale it's matured in oak barrels. It is a, it's one of those classic English ales. It's been around for ages. It's, uh, it was around from, been around from way before bottled ales became kind of fashionable, and um, it's it's ridden it out and stayed, stayed reasonably popular. Um, you know, it has that, it's got that association with the cricket as well, so that doesn't do it any harm. Um, I can't really remember whether, what I like about it. No, I can't remember whether I particularly like it or not. Um, I like pale ales though, so we'll see what we think. I say it's four and a half percent. Doesn't give a lot away on the bottle. Right, so pale ale, nice golden colour. Looks nice, nice golden colour, decent head on that. I think my sense of smell must be shot, you know. It's a bit of sweetness to the smell there. Oh, it's very nice actually. It's not too, not too strong a flavour. The immediate first flavour is a biscuitiness, a nice malty biscuitiness. But it's not very strong. Even though it's got that biscuitiness to it, the beer itself isn't particularly sweet. It's really cooling and refreshing on the tongue. It, it just washes away quite quickly. Nice, not strong hoppy, but a nice hoppy bitter finish. It really is. It's hitting like, it's hitting the sides of my tongue in an almost um, like menthol way or you know, really mouth-watering. There's nothing, nothing really special about it. There's nothing that completely blows me away. But altogether it's a nice beer and it's a nice drinking experience. It's not too strong. It's not a challenging drink at all. It's got that nice, it, the hoppiness, it's, it's that hoppiness that's catching the edges of the tongue. That's, dryness that's then making making it mouth watering no it's good I don't know why I've always discounted this beer never really never really given it no never been a beer I've given it a, given a lot of thought to um hmm Marston's pedigree pale ale it's exceptionally premium the bottle says uh. I'm not sure so I'm not sure my rating is gonna be an exceptionally premium rating I'm on the fence I think I'm going to say that Marston's pedigree, is it high three or is it a low four? I think if I compare it to some of the beers that I've given a four to, it's not quite up there. It's a very, very, Marston's pedigree, a very high three stars. Do try it. Let me know in the comments if you like Marston's pedigree. Uh, I'm not sure about what other beers Marston's might do. Um, I'd be interested to try some of their other ales. I probably already had them. But well, always interested to try them. Um, and again, keep the suggestions coming. I will try and I keep every time I go to the supermarket, I do have a look out and see if I can find anything that people have been recommending. Um, I've got a massive backlog of beers to drink. What a terrible shame for me. But I will try and learn to drink most beers that people recommend. Um, so like and subscribe. Do all of the things that you're supposed to do. Facebook and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time for another Top of the Hops. Bye-bye. You know it makes sense.